He'll need to beat Ethan Swanson's time of a minute, four seconds, if he wants to get to the power tower. He's already short off that speed, Matt. He moves fast like he's on the Autobahn, but that's Daniel Gill. He's got good hair and good speed. Well, he moves fast, he has confidence, and moves on now to the ring chaser. Come on, showing off. He's so fast, he's waiting for the ring. The last two years, he was the fastest in qualifying, and he got the mega wall. Can he pull off that double play tonight? No, oh, come on. Oh, nice. nice. Just the Ferris wheel between him and another run at the Mega Wall. He is not waiting around, Matt, and he's going for it. About 30 seconds if he wants to beat Swanson's time. Well, Daniel Gill. Come on. This is going to be close. He's going so fast. He may need to catch his breath before the Mega Wall. Survives the drop, still needs the dismount. He's strong! Oh, he ain't playing. He's going straight for the Mega Wall. Taking a minute to gather himself, and the second's ticking away. Not going to be fast enough to get to the Power Tower. He's betting it all on this Mega Wall. Can he do it three years in a row? He better get it. He better get it. Oh! Comes up short. Only gets one attempt on the regular wall now, but gets it. Daniel Gill gave up one of his third straight Mega Wall, but did not get it or get one of the top two times. But still, he's moving on to the semifinals. Tell me the strategy. Strategy was go fast, get to the walls with a good time, get 10K, and then finish the course. Daniel, congratulations. You're moving on. Well, let's take a look at his Mega Wall miss and how it compares to his past success. In 2018 and 2019, look how close he got to the shield, and he was able to get a big lift on his last step. But this year, that last step is much lower, and he gets no push-off.